that's how trash that nigga was. Was? Has he changed? and welcome to another installment on the Not Just Lalo channel. As you can see, I am here with two lovely guests. Do introduce yourselves, you first. Hi guys, my name is Michaela. Ooh, so shy. <laughs> Which one is this one now? Okay, okay, hi guys. My name is Michaela. Um, Mickey Costa underscore on Instagram, maybe Michaela on Twitter, you know, that's what's up. Hi guys, my name is Floni, um, Flon Zimbina on Twitter and Floni Mbina on Instagram. It's nice to be here again. Oh, hi. Love to see you. Yeah. you guys were in my very first video. You guys were in my very first that was, video. That was literally the beginning of last year. Yo, yeah. dude, it's yeah. mad. 6th of February 2021, actually, I remember. We've Mad, we've grown now. We've great. got new opinions new now. Opinions. As you can see from the title below, today we are talking about talking stages everything under the sun, everything you want to know, everything you should do, everything you should not do, what to expect. If you have not done so yet, do hit that beautiful red button below to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more content from me, hopefully on a weekly basis, but I don't want to commit to that because people are actually going to hold me accountable. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this yeah. video. <laughs> so today we're talking about talking stages. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, me, I've got a lot of XP in that area. It's always just talking stage, I'm a talking stage, I'm a talking, talking stage. stage. Yo, guys, where's the relationship? When is it coming? I have not been Every day, what's your favorite relationship. color? I have not Yo. been in a relationship since Yo. 2019, but I've been talking to people since 2019. Since 2019. I feel like it's just that little, that little time before you become official with somebody mm, okay. i feel like talking stages and dating like the process mm. of going on dates and getting to know somebody are a talking stage. stage like that's yeah. a talking yeah. stage yeah getting to know just figuring out you know what it is figuring out if you want to date this person yeah and if they want to date you. from the moment they're like can i have your number to the day they say will you be Would my you like, girlfriend will you yeah. be my boyfriend will you be my partner that is the talking stage. With okay. but you need With there needs to be intention. Yeah. Of like, I'm ah, uh, it's even a talking stage when there's no intention. Don't bore me. No, but then when when someone's but then no, no, but when you have a thing with someone and then it doesn't end up being anything, what do you say to people? No, we were talking. I kind of valid. Yeah. But also, I'm not going to say we were talking if I can clearly see that this guy did not want to talk to me. <laughs> you know, like if he was, <laughs> if he was, just, if he wanted to be my buddy, yeah. I would be really talking stage. But, Talking, we're dating, we're going on dates with the intention of progressing That's further always, in life. Oh, with the intention of. With the intention of. Where the danger is. Yeah. You know what, man? If you can't see there's any intention after, like, you know, you know, you get the signs. You get, you can yeah. feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah. Go on to the next. Yeah. yeah. ASAP pronto. 100%. If you realize that you're comfortable enough to start having sex with this person, I think it's very important to know if one, there's another person who, who he or she is fucking, yeah. yep. two, where are they in their thing, whatever they're doing, mm. and three, for yourself, like, or do you want to continue with this person if he has someone else, he or she has someone else on the other side, mm. and yeah, and also safety, that's health. Yeah, safe space. Yeah. Space. It gives you mm. an idea of where you stand. Like I yeah. don't like being in something where it's like it's wishy wishy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Then yeah. I, I think yeah. a lot. I think too much. Mm. You're the same. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like a month and a half is lengthy to spend depending not knowing on, someone's intentions. But also, I feel like it depends on how much you see this person. Okay. okay? Yeah. So, for example, if you are okay, students, yeah. maybe. Or even if you're dating a working man, or you're working and your partner's working, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes you genuinely just don't have time. Yeah. And texting, okay, cool, yeah, we can text here and there, maybe have a phone call here and there, but it's not the same as actively going on dates, spending quality quality time with each yeah. other, right? Because over the phone, that's not quality time in my opinion. Yeah. So spending quality time with each other. If you deep it, maybe you'll see each other on the weekends, yeah. and maybe you won't even see each other every weekend. Yeah. So it's not that long. That's why I always say, like, 
my a talking stage for me is about like three months. How am I? No, but listen. <laughs> three months, three months. Let me explain. 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 Three months. <laughs> But that's yeah, okay, yeah. Lelo. Yeah. While we're talking about this, remember, remember this is my personal opinion. Yes, yes, but I'm okay with it. Some girls will only want to be in a talking stage for two weeks, and that's fine. If you yes, know yes. you're comfortable dating a man yeah. after two weeks, that's you, baby. Yeah. That's not me, on the other hand. Yeah. There's, humans are too complex to know whether you're going to date yeah. them after two weeks. Guys, dating isn't. This is my. No, this I'm your girlfriend. Like, I'm supposed to be dating you, and you're supposed to be dating me with the intention of us going long term, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like for me, when it comes to intentions, I always try and get it as early as I can. That's my chat. Like, so a month, a month, I understand, especially if you're not seeing them that much. But if we can have that conversation early, because then I know, listen, are you into actually getting to know me as a person? Yeah. Do you want to use me for certain things? Because a lot of people do just maybe want yeah. to hook up. And yeah. that's fine. I'm not into that. I'm mm -hmm. not into that. Like, I don't want to talk to you and hook up with you. That's not what, like, yeah. I want to talk to people and get to know them and date mm -hmm. them or whatever. Like, so I just tell like, me that but yeah. men don't want to do that now if we tell you that you guys don't want to <laughs> wait that's my decision at the end of the day my exactly. love i also feel like the danger is in that a lot of a certain gender will sell you romance to get something else mm. and that's where the danger is yeah. and so i think that's very difficult to um maneuver when it comes to you know knowing someone's intentions and that because People can sell you romance with another idea in mind, you know. But I firmly believe in like knowing as early as possible. Personally, I get very nervous in talking mm -hmm. stages because I'm like, what if I'm putting all of this effort into a person for nothing? Exactly, Ooh. and like I feel like I premeditate, like wasting my time because I've wasted my time so much. Yo, yo. In the past, let's say almost five years, the number of times I've wasted, wasted my, my time. time. So it's like I almost like anticipate it and so that nerve that anxiousness and that nervousness makes me want to know as soon as possible like what are we doing but at the same time you don't want to ask too early because then it's like how oh, did i just met you that's yeah. another thing is like yeah. the whole concept early. of going with the flow yeah. i will go with the flow for a little bit yeah. like on the whole are we actually like do we actually mm. get along like, are we compatible do we even vibe yeah. like that after I can see now there's actually something here, then I'm gonna ask you because what flow are we going with? Because yeah. at some other points it's actually just gonna What's the direction? Flow. What is the yeah. direction? Because yeah. it's actually we don't want to wish Exactly. Wish. If you let people that whole concept of oh we're just going with the flow, let's see where it goes no. People get too comfortable. Wait, and, and I feel like men love also being comfortable here. I feel like people know their intention. Yes. Mm. So when you know it, you said with your mouth, let's go with the flow, but you know in the back of your mind what you want from me. Yeah. So why are we going with the flow for eight? Why are we going with the flow for eight months? Hey, two. <laughs> so, guys, also just whoever I'm talking to right now, just rate yourself. It doesn't like I. <laughs> I didn't, unfortunately. The right time to ask for me is like I really can't say. But the moment you start asking yourself, no, yeah, no. the moment you start asking yourself, like. I really want to know what this person is. Also, it doesn't, I don't feel like it hurts to ask, even if you ask them on the second day. Yeah. What are your intentions? Oh, personally, like, that chat makes me very nervous in general mm. because I don't want to hear something I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear something I don't want to hear. Like, sharp, we charge for the game, we keep it moving. But, yeah, big you know, for me, I just like, rather like when my feet are just mm. touching the water, not my whole body, I'm in hell. Because that tide is gonna grip me and then what? Yeah. Because I'm gonna have to recover. I'm gonna have to, I give you like four, what, three, four, five months of my life. Yo. And it's gonna take me a year to recover. That's insane. Yeah, so you said the right time to ask is when? For me. For me, for it's you. like a month and a half. But like obviously yeah. actively seeing each other, mm. speaking. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For me personally, even a month is, is mm. too late to know someone's intentions. A month is 30 days, guys. 30 days, sometimes 31. Yo, I can't. I have to know early, dude. I'm very scared of wasting my time. Mm. I've got PTSD. Like, I, I can't. I said mine. You said yes. three months. I, I, said, I need I you to I'm break done. it down because I'm not hearing your chat. Okay. okay. Um, you know what? For me, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, okay, not anymore. I used to work 
and study. So I was always busy, you know, like in the mornings it was school, okay. in the afternoons it was work. Yeah. So I was always busy. When I come home, then it's more work. Like yeah. it's like I was just always busy doing shit. So I didn't always have time to go for dinner or mm. hang out or whatever whatever yeah. we would do in our time leading up to it, right? Mm. So for me, it where it broke down to weekends. And then you can even ask me, there was a stage this year where I was stage always I in Joburg. Literally, yeah. like I was, because either I was always in Joburg, and when, when I'm in Joburg, most of the time it's for like something, mm-hmm. like a family thing, or whatever. Then it's just, so it can get very busy. Yeah. So in that thing, I always, I always try and be very realistic with my talking yeah. stages. So I don't want to put pressure on you and make yeah. you feel like you're supposed to ask me to be your bro after a yeah. month mm-hmm. if we've only seen each other or been on two days. Yeah. You know, it's a bit of a, yeah. Also, I like to give myself time to see because I'm very, I get the ick very quickly. <laughs> so I want to know that um, I've seen, also I just want to see when I'm in, like maybe a few settings, not in all of them, yeah. because that's also unrealistic. Yeah. But like, I want to see you maybe, let's go out together one night. I just want to yeah. see what you're like when you're outside, when you're, yeah. in, a, when you're in a club. Yeah, when you're a little make. When you're a little bit make. I want to yeah. see you make. Like, yeah. I want to see what what do you get aggressive? Do you get yeah, this? Do you get that? Just start fights. Exactly. Yeah. I want to see you in calm environments. Chances are, I'm probably not going to see you sad, but I want to see you in just a yeah. little bit of in a different light, other than you and I just having a general conversation. Yeah. Because what does that do for me? Yeah. I don't know if I actually want to date you. You don't know if you want to date me. Mm-hmm. Like so, for me, I feel like three months. It's a good. It's a good. Length. It's a good yeah. time to just figure out those emotions because. Mm-hmm. You can't say you're gonna be upset in in a month of getting yeah. of talking to someone. Yeah. Personally, I think it definitely depends on how frequently you're seeing this person, how much time you spend with this person. Because three months for me feels lengthy, and I think it's because I like to spend a lot of time with people. Like I will hang out with you every single opportunity I can get. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like if I miss you, land. You know. Yeah. So for me, I have had talking stages that led to nothing that have lasted a very long time. I'm talking like 75% of a year, like long. And... <laughs> I can't so, laugh though. The problem is I'm, I'm actually not allowed to laugh because the nonsense I've done, let me keep quiet. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I've done it more than once. It's very embarrassing. Have so... Show me more than once. I know, and it, it just like, you know. More than once for 35%, let me keep quiet. <laughs> Let me get my calculator. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's like I don't know. Like I want to see. I know at some points I should have been like, this person's actually wasting my time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's why I said when you rate yourself. That's why I said I'm dizzy. dizzy. That's why I said I'm dizzy, dude. I would say a month or two, like okay. because if after a month or maximum two, you don't know what you want from me, you don't know what you're doing with me, no. you don't see anything with me after a month or two months, then you're not going to see anything with me later, because the person yeah, I'm giving you now true. is the person I'm going to be giving you in eight months. Like, it's very important that you and your, like, you are in it, not everyone else, mm-hmm. and you need to decide if you're going to stay in it for, like, however long it's going to, like, Last proceed, four, yeah. and you also need to make a decision for yourself, like, are you going to base, like, your um, foundation with this person, your expectation with this person, what everyone is seeing or what you're seeing because you're the one who's getting to know them mm-hmm. you're the one who's vulnerable with them mm-hmm. you're the one who sees the moments where not everyone has seen them in and it's not fair for you to just make that okay oh my god we've been talking for two months now yeah uh, when is it happening oh. yeah because you know mm-hmm. some people are cool with being in talking stages for a year and that is okay if they're okay with it they <laughs> they're okay let me put if they're no, okay with it. I think so, I'm <laughs> If you're watching this video and you're one of those babes, good luck. Yeah. But yo, um, you're God's strong soldier. Yeah, you are. Because I'm not. You are. Yeah. Like some people are okay with that type yeah. of stuff. Like I know. But one thing that like I would always say is just never compromise. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a lot of people do that. A lot of girls get into things, know that they want to be girlfriends, and because their boyfriends don't want they the title, they show, just, yeah. they compromise, and they say that they're okay with it, but I don't think that they really yeah. are, and it's just super, it's sad to see. So I always yeah. say, if you're respected, and your boundaries are respected, and you just feel comfortable, nobody can really say anything at the end of the day, because you're happy, but never let him change it, yeah. or never let the person you're with 
alter those opinions. If if Flony, like I've always known, like Flony's never been the type to be like, I'm talking to him for one month and he must be my, like, I'm yeah. a She's never been like that, which is fine. Mm. Hence why this is okay for her and you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Where me, on the other hand, I'm not like that. Another thing is like, I feel like when you're in it, you can feel the yes. pace that it's going at. Yes. So when you feel like, hey, I know it's going on, I'm not a girlfriend. You are at the point where you can ask because you that is what ask. you're feeling. Yeah. But if you guys have been talking for eight months and you're not asking yourself, "Hey, well, when am I being a girlfriend?" Then you know that it's not the time yet because you're well, not asking. Well, maybe also that's yourself. a relationship that just is sad not to say, but you're never gonna be the girlfriend. Yeah. You're never gonna be a girlfriend. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If you're okay and if you're comfortable with it, that's fine. That's like hard. it's everyone's yeah. decision. I think like it's very important in that time frame that you give yourself and this person that you realize is this person actually respectful of my yeah. wishes does he have or she have respect for qualities and like do i see myself being able to have like a clear cut communication like if i'm saying no you fucked up here i don't like this and he's gonna say but you're no but that's uh, surely no, no like, it's, not, it's not about that yeah. i'm talking about what you did yeah. and you're being how they feel, feel. Yeah. and how you feel don't come here and tell me i didn't ask you about that if yeah. I wanted to know if Sancho, I'd ask him Sancho. <laughs> anyway, yeah. but like, I think it's very important. Like for me, respect is a very big thing. Like I can handle a lot of things, but once I reach the yo, ah, it's child. Yo, don't speak to me. Like Mikael and I, she knows. Yeah, it's, it's really sad know. when you don't see it. Like yeah. when they do something in the beginning and you don't see it, and then it happens again and again, and then you only see it at the end. But it's even worse when you see it. But they have you in a chokehold and you can't actually you can't yeah you can't help yourself and that was my situation and it happened it happened early and i was just like okay maybe it's whatever and people are also chances are when you're with people like that they're very good at um smoothing up the situation manipulating yeah oh no it's fine dude like it's nothing blah 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 like i'm sorry i'll do better i'll do better liar You're a liar. You're a liar. <laughs> Respect for me. Oh no. Did you out and about? No. You're living it up. You have got a few yeah. chicks in you, and you say, "Let me text him." Yeah. Let me tell him how I feel, and he's just and he mind does not care. He might just he does your call. <laughs> just no. Doesn't care. Like just yeah, no. no. It was ne- it's like leave, leave. We're always joking. Oh guys, he hates me. Yo, I feel like this joke makes you hate. You see that joke? It's real. It's not a joke. <laughs> he hates you. <laughs> and you. Oh, it's like a young guy. He hates me. Ah, oh, he hates you. <laughs>For me, one thing that I will always look out for is like your commitment to our plans. Cause Please. if you are like just doing maracas, every time we have plans you don't land, every time there's always something, the boys, you'd rather be with the boys, sure, you'd the rather... Boys, the boys. Yo, and guys! I'm with the boys, the boys. So I feel sorry mm. for the people who date me, cause Yo. one thing about me, I believe in yeah, my things. No. I feel like that is something that's really important to me. Like, because then if you can't commit to our plans, how are you going to commit to me? To me, 100%. How are you commit to me? No, 100%. Make me feel like you want to talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make it seem like. Any- I get being busy, it's calm. But when you do get a chance, make me feel like you want to talk to me. Make me feel like, like, yo, when, I, when, I, like, when, when my message comes through, it's like, ah, damn, I, I want to feel that. Like, I want to feel that. Even if I don't see it, like the way you text me, the way you, when you, you call me, you check on me, things like that, like make me feel like you want to talk to me, you want to pursue something with me. Because if if you if I feel like you don't want to talk to me, the chances are you don't. Mm. You know? That's true. Yeah. If you saw me walking in the street and you said, Oh, that's a fine babe, and you came to me and you said, Can I have your number? I want to take you on a date. Take me out on a date, my <sighs> Take me out on a date. Take me out. Send me a text and be like, so what do you want to do? I don't know. You want when, to take when me. When am I coming over? Where am I going? Where you're not? You're coming you are not coming over. Coming over. From where? You can't follow through on that. You can't follow through on being yeah. loyal to me. Yeah. So that's a very, very big thing for me. And another thing is just communication. You yeah. so I get and like I'm one who knows that people are busy. Like all my friends like and sometimes get really busy. But I try and I, I used to be bad in the beginning, but I made it like an effort to improve on my communication. So that my friends are never in the dark, you know? Yeah. And so I'm like, where the fuck is Michaela? Like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, yeah. this fan said she was coming, she's not here. I want the same thing from the guy I'm talking to. Like, yeah. just be 
if you have those two, you're not gonna scare me off. But if those two are ready, we should. Oh, it's, it's, it's I, I think it's also very there. important to make me feel like you've given me a safe space to communicate with you. Yeah. Okay. Because if hey, if our chats are shaky from the get go, and now I want to ask you what your intentions are, but I feel like I can't do that because I'm gonna hear something I don't want to hear. That's already just not a calm space. I don't feel comfortable communicating effectively with you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 that like, I need to feel like this is a safe space. So, yeah. How about you? Maybe communication, they like, mm -hmm. and intention. Don't waste my time. Yeah. Also, like... So, the moment the communication is off you... Also, like, you know, you get passive aggressiveness, eh? Like, I pick up on that very quickly. I hate that. Yo! I hate it. Wait. No, it's fine. XO, it's XO. fine. No, it's fine. XO, XO. <laughs> she... You know that no, it's fine, but it's not fine. Yo. You, you want me to see that it's not, not fine. fine. You want me to see that it's not fine. Also, just say. Just yeah. say. Just, just say. Be open and be open to forming a new relationship. It's very difficult. Forming a new relationship is not fun. But you also need to not be too gung ho now. And I'm not saying that so you look cool. I'm saying that so you don't get hurt. Like you really need to manage your expectations of people because we're expecting the world from people that don't even give us pomoda. No, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. <laughs> like, you can, I always say like, in the beginning or just even when getting to know somebody new, I always, I've told, like, tell everybody, take everything with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Like, seems cool, seems exciting, but just, you know, yeah. realize, yeah. just realize that this person, first of all, can dip at any point. They yeah. owe you nothing. Yeah. You also owe them nothing. Mm -hmm. But take everything they say with a pinch of salt because yeah. your people will just also... You're lucky. Because they'll say everything and anything. Yeah. Manage your expectations of people, like, in terms of them. But also, manage your expectations in terms of the relationship. Like, yeah. don't... Take things with face value. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Also, like, yeah. Uh, so like for me in terms of taking things to the face value if you don't manage expectations do you know where you're gonna go down eh you're gonna go down to the oh. i think it's just very important also to manage people's expectations of you mm. yeah because you're that's true dude yeah you have to manage people's expectations of you as well like you need to like this is what i'm capable of right now this is what i'm looking for like this is what you can expect from me don't allow people to think crazy things me i don't allow people to think i have money hey guys <laughs> And not, like for me, I don't allow people to think you have money. <laughs> I've been in so many situations where like I'm an overextender, like I've been mm. doing the most. Like yeah. I'm like, bah, 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 bah. yeah, what's well, mine is yours. And so you realize you're like it's not sustainable. Yeah. So it's very yeah, you have to you need you need to abandon within yourself also yeah. and know like this is how I feel about certain things and I'm not gonna mm. let you think that I'm yeah this type of person Make also sure i always tell people i am the most emotional person you you will meet and i can get angry very very quickly mm. if yes she can like <laughs> guys <laughs> me knows <laughs> she can like i get angry and i get very yeah. emotional like i i'll start crying like we could maybe have just been speaking for a little bit i'll start crying but conversation could just speaking to me mean like that's just mm -hmm. you know it's who i am yeah. don't ever think you're never gonna get that that is yeah. who i am and know that that's I'm what you're gonna think I'm a thug. don't ever think i'm a thug I'm don't a ever think i'm a baby. bad bitch because you got the wrong girl yeah. there's enough girls who are those things yeah. go to them if that's what you want yeah. like i always tell people yeah. if you can't handle it and if you don't want to help me navigate through it yeah then you're not for me. You're not for me, baby. Yeah. I don't know. What expectations do you think people should not have of you? Like, <laughs> I don't talk much, eh? Yeah. yeah. I really don't. I'm so quiet. I'm such a quiet person. Yeah. Like, don't think I'm not listening. I'm definitely like yeah. listening. I'm taking it in. But I don't talk that much. Like, at face value, if you were to meet me on any of these streets here in Hatfield, and I'm talking to them, I've got energy. Like, yeah. Like, I, I get like I have to, you know, but step never up expect up. that 24 I don't speak. Seven. I don't even yeah. like, Mm. Person. Like, I also sometimes I feel like I come across as complicated. Yeah. But I'm not. Believe in your source. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, Nick. If you think like this there's gonna come a time when you're talking to someone you're serious about them mm. and you can see when I hmm, 
they think that this is chess. Mm. Ne? Mm. Believe in yourself. Yeah. You know you're a hot babe or a hot yeah. man or a hot whatever you, you know identify what you as. And you know you can attract anything you want. Mm. Anything you want, guys. Don't worry about something that's, you know, just a little bit of a cliff when you've got a mm. whole heel to conquer. Yeah. Yo! What the my Okay. Like, okay. Like, okay. Like, and it's hard. It's a hard mm. conversation. It's a jumping, yeah. And it's, it's not difficult, much and it's difficult to hear. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to hear that when you're going through what you're going through. But your friends know you better than you know yourself sometimes. And sometimes you do need a bird's eye view mm-hmm. of the situation. Because, because chances are it's not, and that's what I told Femi, yeah. like it's not you. Yeah. Like when people don't want to commit to you or being weird with you or fuck you around, chances are it's not really you. It's, it's just them. their own internal yeah. demons. And you know what? You need to know what to carry in your own energy and what not yeah. to carry. And sometimes you need to say, you know what, my brother, thank you. Yeah. And I think, Pull yourself towards yourself. But I'm not I'm not I'm not taking on this burden yeah. because you don't know how to keep yeah. your to keep your, your shit together and keep your yeah. dick in your pants. And also, so. if, you're, if you're begging in the talking stage, chances are you're going to be begging in your relationship. Begging. You're going to beg. You're going to beg to become a girlfriend. Yo, if you're begging now, when you you'll see yourself, beg there. I always think, like, when you see yourself like, compromising your values just to get someone's like attention, leave. Yeah. Leave. Run. Hold well on. Because you can't, you can't even maintain that. You can't leave. Because at this end, you can't maintain it. At the end of the day, you're detrimenting yourself and you're losing yourself for what? Mm. For, in, for a man. Or a woman, or and a you know woman, what I'm yeah. saying. Or they, or a babe, you know. Yeah. And I'm saying this like because I've been there, and I was very disappointed in myself because mm. I'm very, I, I stand in my And it turns and you into someone you're not. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, you yeah. become horrible. Yeah. Like, you really do. So. So yeah. As, like even if it takes you a year after um, a crumbling situation happens, always believe in your source because you've got it. You are enough for a lot of people out there. No. Also, if you notice that your type just keeps on playing you, I think your type yeah. is not, they're not really your type. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think you need to reevaluate. Yeah. But okay, we have reached the end of another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hit me up in the comments, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what you think. And follow me on all my social media. I'm not just let on all platforms. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in yet another video.